Hey everyone, this is Amy Coates and welcome back. So I'm in South Africa here with Neo. <laughs> so what are we here for, Neo? Um, Devcom. Devcom? Cool. And, and you know, go around, see good stuff. Yeah. Have fun, basically. Yeah. So we went to Johannesburg and we're currently in Cape Town. Johannesburg. Sorry, I keep on pronouncing it. We're in Joburg. We were in Joburg. Yeah. And running on very little sleep, right? Yeah, very little. Yeah. So, um, what did you think about Gen Con so far? It's been great. Like, it's, it's nothing compared to what I've seen before. I mean, based on what I've seen experience-wise, it's awesome. I mean, Robert did a good job. Candy did a good job. Yeah, it's definitely. Great. It's great. And Cape Town is beautiful. Oh it is so beautiful. I'll try to like put in some snippets of places that I've seen. Um, also, wait, I never asked you about yourself. So, Neo, tell everyone about yourself. Um, so, I'm Neo Igodaro. Um, I'm a Nigerian. Nigerian is, is in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> really? Um, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm a software developer. Mm -hmm. I've been doing this for about 12 years ish. Yeah. And um, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm a city of a company, a tech mm -hmm. company in Nigeria called yeah. Hotel Star NG. And, you know, I just try to have fun, basically. <laughs> <laughs> um, what kind of frameworks do you use or what languages do you program on? Like, what's your um, stack? PHP, mm -hmm. JavaScript, nice. Swift, Objective C, um, a little Go, just a little. A little Go? Yeah. Nice. Um, Kotlin. I just Kotlin. Kotlin. Nice. Uh, I think that's about it. Cool. So I wanted to talk to you, and we can. I wanted to ask you about like how you got into software engineering because I feel like everyone's story is always unique. And when you first told me about it, I was like, Oh my God, this is so amazing! <laughs> so go ahead. Um, so I started when I was like, about fifteen ish. Fifteen. And I didn't choose. Like it wasn't like something I said. Oh, you know what? I want to be a software engineer. I didn't even know what it meant. Right? Okay. But I had problems in school, mostly with bullies. Yeah. I used to be very small, so I had a lot of bullies. And you know, at some point, I just got tired. Like you know what? Yeah, screw this shit, man. So I basically stopped going to classes. Uh, I started mm -hmm. going to internet cafes, and somehow I stumbled upon someone who knew um, software programming. I was like, "Hey, dude, what are you doing?" I was like, "This coding." I'm like, okay, I like to learn that. You know, basically sparked some interest, and I, I needed something to do there anyways. So I started learning. Started learning. I mean, it was difficult, but over time, I got very interested, and I think this thing with you know, wanting something enough that you basically do almost anything for it. Yeah. So I was able to get some money, I was able to go to the internet cafes. And that, the difficult part and the part that wows in me is um, because of the difficulty, I had just uh, about 30 minutes to one hour burst to, you know, program. So I didn't, I couldn't afford to sit there and think of what I wanted to, you know, program. So well, while I'm at home, I just take a diary, I write the code, mm -hmm. um, and I basically debug my code in, in the diary. And then when I get to the internet cafe, I open the diary and like, you know, try and transcribe everything I've done into the, uh, the machine and then see if it works. If it doesn't work, I go back and try and, you know, figure out where it went. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was it was difficult, but I think it kind of gave me some, some good ethics, you know, while yeah. coding. That's awesome. Yeah, like, I, the, when he told me a story, I was like, wow, you literally, like, wrote code on a piece of paper and then transcribed it and then to, like, debug. That's really awesome. Um, also, I know that you run something called For, For Loop. For yeah. Loop. So, so tell me about For Loop. Yeah, so For Loop was started by um, Ridwan. He's a programmer in Nigeria. And basically what it is, is like... Um, it's supposed to be a meetup, right? Yeah. Yeah, but it kind of quickly transcended that into something big. So it's more like a tech event where a lot of developers come together. And for a typical meetup, we get like 800 to 1,000 people. 800 to 1,000? Yeah. <laughs> Attending. Cool. Uh, so we basically try to go around every single country. I mean, we've been to Uganda. Uganda. We've been to Kenya. Kenya. We've been to Ghana. Ghana. We're in Nigeria. Obviously. Yeah, Nigeria. We're trying to get to South Africa. Basically trying to cover the entire Africa. That's awesome. Yeah. Very is. cool. And how many people run this? Um, we're, we're, we're a lot, actually. Wow. Yeah, we're a lot. Because he started it, but he started getting decentralized pretty quickly. That's good. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. people could be able to handle each, you know, cubicle, so to speak. Mm -hmm. You know, each little meetup separately. So we, we expanded into schools actually. Very so cool. We have like university meetups and we generally try to make it 
as available as possible to everyone who wanted to you know, get in. So I can't really put a number, but we're quite a bit. Damn, that's awesome. I mean, you said like 800 to 1,000 like yeah. per meetup. You need a lot of That's time. conference level. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Um, but I, I also have this one called Laravel of Nigeria. It's very specific to PHP. Yeah. Okay. It's a niche. Um, I started that last year. Laravel is a framework, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So I remember talking to my team then when I just became um, CTO. Like, there's one thing I don't do. I don't speak at conferences. I want to do that this year. So that's what I told them. Yes. And, uh, this guy <laughs> wants to speak at conferences, y'all. <laughs> Send him. <laughs> and basically after then, I decided, okay, so let me start one to see how exactly it works. And that's yeah. how Laravel and Gerald spawn. And the average meetup size is about 300. But that's because I usually stop people. So once you get to 300, I like, cut it. Yeah, because at, at some point it's like some quality level as well, yeah. and also resource level exactly. too. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> um, talk to me about the tech scene in Nigeria. It's huge. Like, yeah, it's really huge. From like, what you told me so it's, far, it's hard to actually explain how huge it is. Yeah, people are so hungry for knowledge. Yeah, it's it's mind blowing. So let's assume I want to organize a meetup next week. Yeah, I could literally get three hundred people there. Wow, no problems. Wow. So like the people are there. The hunger is there. The only thing that's not there is the sponsorship and backing. Mm -hmm. So there's not a lot of companies locally who want to mm -hmm. sponsor these events. So in my experience, at least, I have to you know, contact people outside there to try and figure out, okay, how how can you help us? Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't have much resources. I mean, I have to use my money every time. So wow. I started getting tedious. Yeah. So I started, you know, reaching out. And I've got some companies who have helped out, like Pusher. They've helped mm -hmm. out a lot. Um, Pusher, cool. Nextmo. Sorry if I leave any of you I just can't remember everyone. <laughs> we're, um, we're sleep deprived. <laughs> it's all good. So like a bunch of companies actually yeah. help out a lot. Um, and a bunch of Nigerian companies too. Honestly, what do you see? Like, can you see Yeah. Also, um, at the Johannesburg event, we met Christian. Yeah. And he wrote a freaking book. <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah. It was really awesome meeting code him. Beast. Code Just Beast. Code yeah. Beast. I'll make sure to like link everyone's social media links down below. So follow all of them. <laughs> it was so awesome meeting all of them at DevCon. Like, I think, so I've never been to South Africa before. Um, and everyone is just so welcoming, yeah. right? Would you agree? Um, and everyone was so cool. I think I definitely met a lot of people that I want to keep in touch with on social media. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Um, but yeah, so you spoke about security here at DevCon, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, I really learned a lot about your talk, especially about how you can't even trust the things coming out of your own database. Yeah. So what umbrella of hackery security stuff was that under? I remember the slide, um, but if you can remind me. <laughs> yikes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean... Okay, let me start from the topic. Okay. Basically, um, it was a security thing. So yeah. um, I work with Auth0 as an ambassador. So okay. I'm basically trying to raise awareness for security. People, or we, everyone actually, sometimes have a false sense of security. You know? mm -hmm. Mostly, especially in Nigeria, because we don't have that many hackers. So we all feel like, you know, we don't have hackers because our sites are secure. That's probably, you know, I don't know if I can swear, but it's bullshit. <laughs> right? You can swear. It's fine. This okay. is my YouTube channel. So, I, no, I mean, I think it's bullshit. Yeah. Right? So I think it's early early in the development process is when you start thinking about security. I mean, those little things that you can easily pick out. Just mm. right? Like, make it as secure as you can and then leave the rest of the security researchers. Mm. So that's pretty much what my talk was supposed yeah. to be about. Um, can you give us one example and then I'll post a link to your slides as well so that if people want to learn more they can. Okay, um, the example which I really loved was the target blank one because mm. I never knew about it. Like I was just reading randomly. Target like, blank. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> right? So you know when you have a HTML and you're trying to link out and then you put target underscore blank. Okay. Um, so what happens is the, the page where you're going to actually receive some a little reference to your own page like yeah. the window that open the object. Okay. Which means that you the website you're visiting can literally change the location of the one you're coming from. Oh. So assume you're in Facebook yeah. and then you target blank to another website, that website can change this location to some phishing website mm -hmm. and then when you go back because you already trust that tab, mm -hmm. you kind of maybe put your login details or whatever, it's basically able to do whatever you want. Wow. And if you want to learn more, click on the slides. That Please. will be linked down below. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, cool. Thank you so much for your time, Neo. Yeah, I actually wanted to ask something. 
Oh yeah, what did you want to ask? What's South Africa been like? What's South Africa been like? Yeah. Um, it's been really amazing. So we went around uh, the waterfront, right? Yeah. That was really beautiful. Those pictures, you need to put that Yo. one. Especially the one where we were yeah. driving. Like, that picture is amazing. It's my screensaver on my <laughs> I'll do like a freeze frame of like a photo somewhere. Amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, the conference has been really good. I think I learned a lot from everyone's talks. Uh, South Af Africa itself, I think the thing for conferences is like you don't really travel when I'm at a, co at a conference. It's just more of like a taster to see if I want to come back. Exactly. And I definitely want to come back. And I also want to visit Nigeria. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> because of all the people that I've met. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so far, South Africa has been really awesome. Yeah. I agree. 100%. Yeah. Do you want to come back to South Africa? Definitely. I am Group coming back trip. to South Africa. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Thank so, you so much for, uh, or did you want to end with something? Or? No, I'm good. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Awesome. So, yeah. Thank all you right, all care. so much for Peace. watching. And this is Neo. And I'll link everything subscribe. down below. Subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. Thanks. All right, cool.